It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Titans and the Bills coming up next. We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Bill Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Tennessee Titans. Now Allen off the bootleg. He'll swing this out to Moss. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. It's second and 12. Back to throw, Tannehill. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. You know, pass complete here to Sanders. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 35. Allen to the veteran Sanders. Here's Allen. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's going to have another first down. They run the counter. Singletary. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That good for 19 at a first down. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. After the initial contact on the next-gen stats, first and goal at the one. Singletary will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. It became the first since with Damian Tomlinson in 2006 and 2007 to win two straight rushing titles. And he did it with style, too. Just the eighth man to top two. A first down carry for Henry. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop it. A lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And that'll be incomplete as it's knocked away. But a penalty flag is down. So who's this going to be on? Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> Anchors of that spot. And they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. That'll be caught by Brown. Touchdown, Tennessee. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. It's ready to go for their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Allen going to throw. Flush to his right. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up a final shot before half for Allen. And he got blown up, losing yardage on the play back at the 44. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have the show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. 
And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone to sign the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. On first down, Singletary. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard defensive front last level being the secondary but the strong safety position end up making the tackle and oftentimes we call them a hybrid combination defensive back combination linebacker we saw the linebacker make this. Allen he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs and he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion that one good for 24 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. To the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On second and nine, Allen. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Nart. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe-tapping, and, of course, an at least force a field goal attempt. Second down and goal, Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Bills have taken the lead. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second, then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. You don't feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now, but they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. Got his man. That's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. Touchdown, Titans. Julio Jones. 75 yards. And the Titans have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Well, Julio Jones, not really the first guy you think of when you're talking about yards after the catch, but he's still got plenty of guile with a ball in his hands. And I think this is what the early proponents of the forward pass were thinking about. Get it to a receiver and have him do some work afterwards. Throwing now is Allen. The Sanders has got it complete. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35. The linebackers nowadays... They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth. And it's third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And now another one thrown incomplete. Play before the two-minute warning. Throwing is Allen on third. And a throw there going to be incomplete. On the screen there, it's second down. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. 
And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bills are going to three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And my, how the tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away. But that interception, potentially a game changer. And I've just got to think to myself, at this point of the game, I know you've been able to... Tannehill to throw. Able to find Jones. Newton's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing Tannehill. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the field. And making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. He was trying to get it to AJ. Here's Tannehill. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. And his kick here is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. I mean, they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards in a first. Now, that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting... They go right back to Singletary. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. And now this first drive in OT continues. On play action, Allen. On the slant, he's got Sanders. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's a gain of 34. Well, that certainly changes things here because they're in field goal range already, but a field goal, that's not what they're looking for now, not after that big play right here in overtime. So if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. Shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. They'll look to run with Moss. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy. Moss again. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard. They'll try to run. Here's Moss. And this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down in just... The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills have taken the lead. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. The field goal would push it to sudden death. We just saw the field goal on the other end, but I don't think they are thinking field goal. At least not to start this drive, they're not thinking field goal. Not at all, because your point is well taken. Yeah, kick the field goal, you push it to sudden death, but you're also kicking off and giving the other team the ball with a chance to kick a field goal and beat you. Well, here comes Reynolds as they try the jet sweep. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the deep. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Tannehill. This will go to Henry out wide. And they'll have it in the red zone before he... And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him 
and try and cover him before he gets going. He's got his tight end over the middle. That's Ferkser. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight yard line. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. This is caught. Way down three in overtime. I like your description. Chip away. Down three. You don't have to get it all in one big play. Although, obviously, that would be nice. But there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. A great game partner, a spectacular finish. They needed at least a field goal to keep the game alive. They do one better. They get it in the end zone and end it. And I don't know about you, but I'm worn out. That type of a game takes it all out of us as well, not just the guys on the field. What a tremendous finish, and as you noted, were they going to go and try and get three and keep the game going? And that wasn't good enough for them. They got the touchdown, and that's why we're able to say goodbye. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility.